Okay, hi. It's me, Katie. And my camera is running on super low battery even though I spent an hour charging it, so we're gonna try to do this quickly. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie. I'm so excited to be here with you today. I get a lot of questions about my style, where I shop, how I find things. So I've never really done a video about that because my style is actually very simple to me. I feel like if I had to describe it in three words, I would call it casual, classic, maybe a hint of romantic because I like some of the like flowy stuff, the floral stuff, whatever. I thought I would take today to kind of talk a little bit about my own personal style, how I've kind of figured it out over the years, what it looks like, how I want to change it, improve it, you know, work on it going forward, and also give you like four or five, maybe five to seven, I don't know how many we're going to do. I bought a bunch of things with me. Outfit ideas for basically all the different situations that I find myself in, that you might find yourself in, either as a new mom or a young 30-something or mid-30-something. Hesitated to make this video because I feel like my style is just like so relaxed that it doesn't not really warrant like a style video but then I was also like you know if there's me then there's other people like me who might need inspiration just as I need inspiration or look for inspiration in other places so here I am making this video for you before we get started, I wanted to share really quickly about a brand that I really love who has generously offered to sponsor this video. They've sponsored a few of my other videos and I've talked about them before and I'm continuing to work with them because I really just love their product and their mission. And that brand is Ana Luisa. These are their earrings. These are called the Cuidado earrings. I'll show you a couple other pieces that I have over here of theirs. And I will pair all of these with my outfits today. So these are the Tia medium gold hoops that I love. They're so beautiful. And then over here, here I have the ivy set. It's like a two-piece little necklace set. Again, just like very simple and minimal and great for layering. This sweet little Rowena bracelet that looks like daisy flowers and that's why I got it because it reminds me of my little daisy girl. I have their opal ring which is very fun and fashion. I have their Michelle earrings at home. Oh, I have these earrings that I got for my mom. I can find them. Here they are. The Hannah marble blue earrings. I thought these were very my mother, so I got them for her. You'll see those pieces throughout the outfits that I'm showing you today. I really love this brand because they are sustainable. They make items in like small batches to kind of avoid excess, but they're still like simple and beautiful and they feel luxury and they're not a crazy price point. Literally everything I just showed you, I'm pretty sure is on sale. I also have a code that they gave me Katie Waldow 10. I'll put that link below in the description box as well as the code to remind you. Um, so if you're looking for jewelry that's like minimal, beautiful, sustainable, I definitely would suggest checking them out. A lot of their products are under $100, which really works for me because often I forget to put jewelry on. It's kind of like the last thing that I do. But I think that it just kind of elevates the outfit so much, even the simplest outfit. It really kind of completes the look. What I like most about it too is like I feel like I could dress them up or I can use them in the everyday. I really love the style. It feels very much like my own style. It takes a lot of intention to find sustainable products because there's so many options that are not sustainable out there that are just like fast fashion, easy to grab, you know, easy to purchase. So I'm just so happy that I found them because it's a brand that I can continue to recommend to people and to share with people because I have witnessed the quality and I have used it on a regular basis and I really, really love it and it doesn't break the bank. If you want to check them out, the link is in my description box. Katie Wall down 10 will get you 10% off and again a lot of the things that I just mentioned to you are already on sale so that's awesome for you. Let's get started with this style video. I want to start with how I approach my style. For me when I'm doing something when I'm going somewhere first I want it to look nice I want to feel put together right but it has to be comfortable. If it's not comfortable if I'm pulling at something if my boobs are coming out you know if my pants are falling off I am not going to feel confident I'm not going to feel good especially when I have a baby who grabs on everything and pulls on everything right. Find that looking for something that is both beautiful and feels put together but is also comfortable is the main thing because also if it's not comfortable, I end up not feeling beautiful anyways. I feel squeezed in, I feel you know tight, I feel like I can't move around, all that stuff. I'm really looking for comfort. I'm looking for things and pieces that are classic, things that I can wear for a long time or pair with a lot of other things that I have. For something that's like easy, simple, it doesn't take a lot of effort. I really do not have a ton of time to think about my style, but I want to feel good about myself, you know? I don't want to just be wearing the same leggings every single day of my life, which I mean a lot of times I am wearing leggings. Hello, the whole last year has been like a leggings palooza, right? But I want to get 
uh, to a place where I'm more intentional about the things that I'm putting together. Uh, but I'm not going to do that if it requires 10 different moving parts because the reality is I have to take care of a baby now and it just does not work for my lifestyle. Even before a kid, I just didn't have the patience to do all of that. I want to feel the most put together with the least amount of effort as possible. So that's what I feel like I've been able to do with my style. If you see these outfits, they're not going to be like, whoa, boo, so amazing, high fashion, because that's just not me. That's not my lifestyle. That's not what fits for me. So a lot of the stuff you're going to see is very casual, is very simple, has a little bit of a feminine, feminine, a feminine a romantic touch to it. I don't wear a ton of prints. I like what I consider neutral prints like leopard print, some florals, um, some random other like simple prints. Anything with like a crazy print for me is just not going to look good on my body. And that's another aspect of me figuring out my style. I have had to learn. I'm 5'2", around 180 pounds, so I consider myself mid-size. I wear anything from like a 14 to a 16, especially postpartum. I'm more in a 16. But a lot of my life I spent trying to fit into smaller sizes because I was told that that would like make me feel but I don't know. I like I was like, oh yeah, I can fit into an eight. I can fit into a four, I can fit into a three, right? Um, and I thought that it would be better if I felt more uncomfortable but said that my size was smaller, which is just bonkers. So now that I've kind of just let go of the idea that the size, it does not matter what the size of your jeans is. It matters that it fits you well, that it looks good on you, that you feel good in it, right? And those, you look good in it when you feel good in it, and that happens when you're wearing things that fit you. So I think that for me, this has been a lot of trial and error. I know that high-waisted things look good on me. I know that because I have a larger bust and a rounder face. Crew necks, I don't wear often. I'm wearing it today because I don't care. Square neck, scoop neck, v-neck those things are a lot more flattering on a larger chest with a rounder face that's me uh that's what i have found maybe that's not true for you but that's been true for me and so i know that i feel better when i feel like that's more like elongated instead of like cut off and i'm like hey guys you know so so looking for necklines like that uh, i know that peplum is kind of forgiving or things that like my stomach is like a larger area of my body i kind of hold my weight in my stomach a lot um so to me having something like super tight around that area is not very flattering for me and it doesn't make me feel good and so I don't really gravitate towards those things I try to wear things that are high-waisted um, not too constricting a little bit more flowy um, I don't love showing my arms I'm not like super against it I just don't love it all the time I'm not as, as confident in that area so a lot of times I think that three-quarter sleeves or like just like looser things are more flattering to me I'm working on that because I know it's like and this is not a commentary on anyone else these are just things that I have found for myself that I feel the most confident in it keeps me from having like an absolute existential meltdown every time I see a photo of myself right so these are things that I'm constantly working on but I have found certain silhouettes um, and certain styles of clothes look better on me and then certain things do not suit me. A drop waist dress, it's not going to look good on me. I don't even try it. It's not flattering. If you are someone who wants to try those things, be my guest. So that's kind of how I approach my style. Like what is my actual size? What are styles and silhouettes that actually fit me and look good on me? And then I buy those things over and over again. But not like constantly, meaning like those are the things when I purchase something, that's what I'm looking for. And again, if I find something like this pair of jeans that I'm going to show you from Old Navy that I found that I am just obsessed with, I try to stick to them as long as possible because here's the thing. I don't have the budget to shop sustainable clothing all the time. Do I want to buy fast fashion all the time? No. Do I try to make every effort to thrift, to buy things secondhand, to list my things on like Mercari and Poshmark? Yes, I'll list those below because I actually have stuff up there. I try to thrift my clothes. I try to donate those things. I try to buy through to things. I try to, you know, swap clothing with my sisters or my friends. But I'm not in a place where I could just buy, you know, wipe out my entire closet and then buy everything sustainable and be like, yes, I am the sustainable clothing master, right? If I ever get to be in a place of that kind of wealth, <laughs> That would be amazing, right? But if I don't, I think that I have found a way to continue to kind of be as sustainable as possible in my own practices, meaning I no longer am the college person that will go to Forever 21 and buy something just for one event that's ill-fitting and then hate myself in it and then throw it out and, you know, put it in a landfill, essentially, right? And these are things that I used to do in school because I, you know, again, again, though, it was a season of life. Like, that's kind of all that I could afford and I wanted to feel good in my clothes. But had I spent more time really figuring out what looked good on me and focusing on investing in those things, I think I would have done that a lot less. And that's what I'm aiming to do in my 20s and 30s, right? <laughs> 
I mean, I'm in my 30s, but I've been working on this for a long time. So a lot of the things that you see me wear on Instagram or here on YouTube are gonna be the same things. Occasionally I'll buy something in a haul and I'll share that with you, right? But it's only because I'm buying something that I think is gonna last me a long time. That's why I never really set out to be a fashion or style person either because I felt like on Instagram there was a lot of pressure to shill things, to continually share. I started feeling like this pressure in the way, way beginning of my Instagram journey. Uh, a lot of pressure to buy new and to have new things to share so I could link them so I can make money. I mean, like, it's a whole thing, right? So I'm really trying to focus less on that and kind of like, okay, what fits my body? Do I really want this? Can I wear this for a couple seasons, a couple years even, right? Um, and if the answer is no, then I probably don't need it. So I've really tried to do my best to work through that that impulsive desire to just buy because I can or because I, I should or something is cute or now or I'll never find it again, whatever. And instead focus on things that really fit me, that really look good on my body and that I feel good in. So, where do I shop? Most of the time, my shopping looks like Aerie, Old Navy, sometimes Marshalls, sometimes Target. Occasionally, if I can afford it, I'll get things from like Everlane or Anthropology. I love Cezanne. This is from Carly Jean, Los Angeles. I really love this. It's very like, actually, it's just like a cardigan that I bought extra big so that I could wear as like a long cardigan or I could tuck it into my jeans. I have like one or two things from Amazon. Madewell, I shop at often. These are, kind, this is kind of my current life price point and also where I gravitate towards because they have clothes that fit me and fit my body so that's where I shop mostly if I'm not looking on Poshmark at a thrift store or whatever so this has been a really long conversation <laughs> why don't I just show you some of the outfits what I'll do is I'll set my camera up I'll kind of show you what the outfit looks like and I'll explain to you what I would wear with it and maybe where I would wear it to or other ways I would wear it I'll link it if I have the links for it and otherwise this is really just to give you some inspiration some insight into how I try to shop and approach shopping and to kind of give you uh, confidence that you can do the same thing that you don't have to be tied to the number on your jeans or on your shirt uh, that you don't have to buy something just because someone says that you should or because it's on sale or because you think you'll never find it again and you don't also have to feel like you can only participate in sustainable shopping by wiping everything out of your closet and having the money to fill it with sustainable clothes from sustainable brands so that's the entire purpose of this video so let's just go share some clothes again I'm going to say I love these outfits I feel confident in these outfits they are very simple they're very casual they are not going to be like super fancy and, and frilly and have a lot because that's just not me so if that's your vibe you're in the right place let's look at some clothes girl yeah these looks comment down below your favorite one let me know if you want to see more style videos like this I'm bending down to talk to my camera instead of sitting back in my chair and doing a proper talking head it's fine have a great day I love you you're the best appreciate you being here and let me know if it was helpful at all find me on Instagram subscribe to my channel if you like what you see give this a thumbs up and I hope to see you around here again soon bye